back to that top story tracking the incline fire. Also a search for an arson suspect. This fire broke out around 530 yesterday afternoon. News 5's Jessica Bretto live on the scene this morning learning a lot about the fire and the activity. Sam mentioned some of your tweets just now, but I am kind of curious, Jessica, are they bringing any air, air assets to help with this at all? Yeah, that's a great question, Bree, and thing that I did want to mention as well. So there will be what they call a Colorado multi-mission aircraft coming this afternoon. Now, uh, the fire officials that we spoke to haven't gotten 100% confirmation on that, but that aircraft will basically be here to sort of be able to uh, determine the exact size of that fire because right now there isn't a real update as to the size that it's estimated to be. That's three to five acres. With this aircraft, it'll basically map out the terrain for firefighters to know exactly what they're uh, facing and what to expect out there. Now, as Sam was mentioning too, wind, weather, that is a big concern today for firefighters. There will be 35 firefighters arriving in about a half an hour to relieve those overnight crews and continue mopping up those hotspots, reinforcing those containment lines. Now, those pre-evacuation orders still in place. So folks living in the five to 600 block of Ruxton Avenue are still under pre-evacuation orders. That road is also close to traffic. And also, you know, heading out the door this morning, you should know the incline is closed, Bar Trail and the Bar Trail parking lot are also closed until further notice. Though crews told us that they have not received reports of any damage to the trail from this fire. Now we do want to show you some video from yesterday of those flames of that smoke um, again crews overnight trying to establish those containment lines it is still zero percent contained though um, and the weather is still a major concern uh, biggest concerns would be the fuel that's up there a lot of oak brush it's dry uh, weather that's been forecasted as well we don't have any uh, moisture foreseeable in the foreseeable future uh, so definitely it's going to be the dry weather the winds and uh, the the terrain and moving on to another aspect of this fire, there is a search for a suspect wanted for arson in connection to this fire um, that is being uh, spearheaded by the sheriff's office and also by Manitou Springs Police Department. And they say that the man wanted is a white man. He is in his early 40s. He was wearing a white t-shirt, gray pants and a gray hoodie around his waist. That's information we had from yesterday that has not changed this morning. So the search is still on for that suspect. And if we get more updates on that, we will certainly let you know. If you know anything about who may have been involved in this fire, you're urged to call the Sheriff's Office at number 719-390-5555. For now, always watching out for you. Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.